Hi, and welcome to day 97 of our uh, youth devotional. So we'll have a moment of prayer and then we'll move into our lesson for today. Most gracious God, we come before you thanking you, Lord God, for all that you do. Father, we bless you, Lord God, because you are faithful. We honor you, Lord God, because you are loving. Father, we thank you for your patience. And Father, we ask, Lord God, that as we learn about you on this day, that you will give us a fresh revelation, God, of who you are so that our lives uh, can have more purpose and more meaning to the world around us and your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So your reading is Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 1 through chapter 34, th verse 12. And then Luke chapter 1, Luke chapter 12, verses 1 through 34. So um, the reading comes from um, our reading in Luke. And it talks about how uh, Jesus is going through the streets and he's just talking about, um, you know, begging for us to repent of our sins. And he says the, the, the sin that will not be forgiven is a sin called blaspheme. That is where you are talking against the Holy Spirit. You are talking against the things of, of Christ and saying that the things of God is not God, is 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 evil, is wicked. That is the only sin that God says He will not forgive when you blaspheme who He is. So what does that mean for us? That means that we are not perfect, and God knew that. It means that we are going to mess up and God knew that. Now we always talk about not taking God's or not taking the grace of God for granted. That means that because the grace of, of God, because you know that God will forgive you, it gives you, it does not give you permission to go out there and mess up on purpose. But what it does tell you is that when you have those mishaps, when you have those mess ups, that we have such a faithful and loving God. That the Bible says that if you go to God and say, Lord, I messed up, I'm sorry. The Bible says he is faithful to forgive you. Faithful to forgive you, not because we deserve it, but it's just the mercy of God. We can't explain it. We can't hold on to it. We can't manipulate it. We can't do anything but receive it and move on. Receive it by faith and move on and repent from doing that again. Repent means to turn away from that into something better. What is that something better? It is God. It is Christ and the ways of Christ. That is our something better. It reminds me um, of uh, the radio station that we have here that some of us may listen to. And we went to the, to the tour to talk about what the acronym KSVJ means um, we looked at the ending of that. It stands for something better, Jesus. And so as we're looking for that something better found in his word, found in the things that, that Christ would have us to do, we are to turn away from the things that will cause God to frown upon us in the first place. So if we, as long as we are looking for that something better in Jesus, then it'll bring us coming to God for the things that we do a little bit less and less. We're not going to get it all right all at one time, but we can get better and better as we grow. Amen. So um, this lesson is short. It's very, very short, uh, simply because it is a lesson of encouraging you that none of us are perfect, but we have to be faithful to confess those sins. God does not forgive if you don't confess. So you may have done some things that you should not have and you may not want to say anything. Well, if you don't want to say anything, it's conditional. The Lord can't give you the mercy that he has for you for forgiveness. So whatever you've done, whatever you've done, the Bible is saying that all sins are forgivable according to Matthew 12 and 31. I just want to kind of give you that little nugget. All sins are forgivable. We're not blaspheming anybody. We're not blaspheming God. So that means all of our sins are forgivable. But we have to confess them. 
We have to confess them, honor God as the head of our life. Honor him by confessing those sins, no matter how great or small it may be. And the Bible says when you confess your sins, the Lord is faithful to forgive you. So may the faithfulness of God's forgiveness and mercy be upon your life both now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Most gracious Father, we come before you thanking you, God, for your faithfulness and forgiveness. Father, anything that we have said, done, or thought, knowingly or unknowingly, that did not pleasure you, Father, we confess it now and we ask for your forgiveness. Father, we thank you for your mercy, for we know that your mercy endures forever. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for Christ that made it possible for us to come boldly before your throne and ask for mercy. And Father, we give you all the honor, glory, and praise for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you next time.